But basically, I use this tool to get more presence from my low end frequencies on smaller speakers. So I even though I'm working with an 808, while I'm mixing, I mute I mute the sub and I go over to my smaller set of speakers and see if I'm still getting that presence. Right. Because no matter what, we still want it to be knocking. Hey, man. Everybody want a fat 808, but don't nobody want to tell you how to get one. It's cool. Wavy got you. Hey, man. My official Avid user certification course for Pro Tools is now enrolling again. That's right, you probably missed out on the first one because there are limited spaces available so that I can give one-on-one -on -one attention to every single student. If you're ready to really learn your DAW, stop fumbling around inside of Pro Tools and go ahead and get you a tangible credential that can prove your skills in the workplace and to your clients, this is what you need to do, man. Sign up right now. All the details are in the description below on how you can take a class with me to get Pro 2 certified. Don't wait. Just like the last term, this class will fill soon. If you are even considering getting your Pro 2 certification, there's no better way, not a funner way, not a cooler way to get certified than with your boy Wavy. Drop down in the description right now, click that link and register because you don't want to miss it again. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And you better know by now that this channel is all about me helping you to record and mix better and faster. So if I've done any of that, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, drop down in the comments and just say, what up, Wavy? And then jump over to Instagram and follow me there, wayne.wave. You feel me? This video is going to be on one of my favorite topics and probably one of yours too because you clicked the video. You feel me? Um, but basically, we're going to be talking about getting a better, fatter, better, fatter, better, fatter. I don't think there's any other ways to describe the 808 besides better and fatter. And nah, that's what we want. We want it better and fatter. So I got a mix that I'm actually working on right now. I'm going to take y'all into the mix, show y'all the 808 that I was given when we started off, and then just show you a couple of techniques. It's actually three simple ways that I um, actually enhance this 808 and make it a whole lot fatter in this mix. Now, I don't got permission from the client to play this song Um so I'm not. I'm not going to play it, but I do want y'all to hear the differences that are made to the 808, and I'm explain why I'm doing each thing. It's definitely going to be best heard if you got some subwoofers or at least some headphones. The laptop speakers is not going to cut it, and the iPhone it definitely ain't going to cut it. If it's an Android, forget about it. All right. <laughs> so here we go. Let's jump down into the session, man. All my Android, uh, all my Android people drop down in the comments and, and show me some hate. All right. <laughs> um so here we go uh, i started off here go to 808 right uh let's just make sure i got it selected i'm gonna play this 808 couple bars of it there's no processing happening on these tracks right now i do have two duplicates of the 808 i'm gonna explain those in a second let's hear what we have this is the main track there's one track that's selected this is the one that's playing All right, so we hear the 808 signal, and if we look at this, we can even gather a few things just from looking at it, right? We see how this 808 track has a strong attack in the beginning, right? It's more kind of like a bass, just like some simple bass notes plucking, but whatever. We're going we gonna to treat it as 808 today because that's the, the part that is playing in this song. Um, so you can see that there's a strong attack followed by a tail that trails off, all right? My first thing when I'm hearing this is that I want that the fatness to be sustained a little bit longer. So one of the first things that I did um, upon hearing this was went on ahead and duplicated the 808 track. So I went from starting with this one, I duplicated this 808 track, and now I have two of them. Exact same thing, the same clips on every one. To do that, you simply just, you could right click on the nameplate, go down to duplicate, um, and then I just left everything as it is because I want an exact copy of the original track. And on that secondary track, here's what I did. 
Oh, but <laughs> we'll get back to this one because I'm actually working in the order that I went in. I, I added this little lapse later, right? On the secondary track that I did, because I wanted to increase the sustain, let me turn this up a little bit, is I added a limiter, right? Um, let's just hear what the limiter is doing and how it changes this uh, 808. I'm going to play it some without it, and then I'm going to add it in. Right off the bat, your, your your walls, your windows, everything should have started shaking once I compressed that. So we really bring in up the punchiness and the presence of that 808 by having a limiter on there. And also look at that. Let me mute this uh, main one. Look at the actual meter and look, and look at how the meter um, uh, rises and falls uh, uh, in comparison to the original unprocessed 808. If you notice, if you if you if you kind of paying attention there, you can see how the uh, the release on the compressed 808, the the sustain is staying around a little bit longer. That means that fullness, that depth of the low end is going to stay present for a longer period of time by me adding this in. And so typically, so now what I want to do from this stage is mix this compressed version of my 808, the limited version, in with the original signal. And now let's hear it before and after. So we're getting a, a lot more sustain on that and a lot more presence coming through from that 808 with just that simple maneuver right there. So that's maneuver number one. Duplicate the track and then add a limiter on it to really bring everything together and keep those uh, longer sustained notes to keep them more present for a little bit longer time, all right? So after I did that, I went over and added the Little Labs Voice of God plugin, um, which is a low frequency resonance tool, and it just does some magic, man. It, I love it because it's super simple on the uh, interface here, and I'm just gonna show you uh, before and after when I add this in. So we're going to listen and I'm going to, let's start off. I'm going to just bring this in. Um, this on my original 808 track blended with the, the mix. So we got these two tracks working together. It's part to my room rattling. I ain't even know it's there, right? You know, so now we really getting that rumble. We getting some uh, some sustain uh, bass on there. This is really uh, fattening up that 808 a lot, a, a lot. And I, I really didn't do much. I adjusted the frequency control to find the exact sweet spot that I wanted to hear, and then boosted up the amplitude of that spot just a little bit to give it a little bit more body. Now. If you're listening on any small systems or uh, speakers or anything, then you know, you can tell, even if you listen listening with, with subs, you can really hear that some of these bass notes are super low, super low. And if you're on small speakers, you might not be able to hear anything at all. That's why I went on ahead and duplicated the 808 track once more. And this time I'm using the Max Bass tool. It's a Waves plugin, but basically I use this tool to get more presence from my low end frequencies on smaller speakers. So I, even though I'm working with an 808, while I'm mixing, I mute, I mute the sub and I go over to my smaller set of speakers and see if I'm still getting that presence, right? Because no matter what, we still want it to be knocking. Hey man, if you love my YouTube channel, 
then you'll really love the Wavy Seals Elite. The Wavy Seals Elite is a membership group that offers you way more than you can get on YouTube. Not only do you get one-on-one -on -one communication with me at least once or twice a week through our live lessons, Q and A's, but we also have multi-track practice sessions, two-track practice sessions. I'll be bringing along other experts because I don't know everything. So every month we have monthly masterclasses where you get to learn from an expert in the field. We give each other feedback on mixes and help each other problem solve issues in the studio. As a member of the Wavy Seals Elite, you'll also get access to an amazing community of audio engineers and producers who are all learning and building with each other. There's two membership opportunities for the Wavy Seals Elite. You can choose monthly or annual membership. If you're ready to take your skills to the next level and really grow your career in audio production, the Wavy Seals Elite is what you're looking for. Even if I'm listening to a song on my iPhone, I still want to feel some kind of pump or knock. Um, even if it's uh, synthesized or fake, really, you know, it's just psychoacoustics happening. Um, it's making me feel like the low end is still there, right? So this is what we're doing is, is adding some of this uh, psychoacoustic frequency to the low end that's blending over into our uh, low mid frequencies and just making the the bass sound sound a lot better on smaller systems, right? So let me just mute these uh, original two and let's hear this uh, max bass track. See what this does. You hear how that's coming through a lot more in the uh, mid range? One of my favorite presets on this plugin, I just like to load it up and I go straight to the aggressive mode. And then I blend, you know, how much max bass versus my original bass that I want. Um, you can play with a couple of other controls on here, but really uh, this is a lot of the heavy lifting. It's just like the max bass, this is that, um, that added in frequency range, that kind of added resonance, psychoacoustics, that's giving you that feeling of bass in the lower mid range, right? Um, so that's what that presence is going to do here. And I can really back this original bass off a lot because I don't really need that, right? Let's just actually solo in here just the max bass. Okay, so that's just that. See how low that is? And then that max bass allows me to get that low mid range stuff and boost that and bring that to the front of my 808 of or my bass. And again, the whole point of me doing that is that on smaller systems, when I'm listening on my boom box or listening in my AirPods or, you know, some other type of system that doesn't have um, uh, subwoofers, we still want to feel that low end information. It, it, it just can't disappear just because we don't have subwoofers. So the max bass is a great tool for keeping that presence alive. You feel me? All right. So now that we got that, uh, let's hear this. Okay. And you can sweep around the frequency. I think that's about perfect. So now it's all about blending these three together to get the perfect bass sound. I don't know about you, but that definitely has my room rumbling, man. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. I really hope you found this quick tutorial to be helpful, man. Three simple ways that you can fatten up that bass and make it better, baby. All right. Check out the website, WavyWayne.com. I got a lot of tools and resources, including courses, my Pro Tools certification course, the Wavy Sales Elite membership group for audio engineers and producers and um, templates that I use in my sessions that I'm offering to you to help you record and mix better and faster. Y'all be dope.